A new report finds the New York City clinic that treated Joan Rivers made multiple mistakes before the comedian stopped breathing and was rushed to the hospital. Findings from the Department of Health and Human Services investigation reveal that Rivers did not consent to a procedure performed at the endoscopy clinic during which she lost consciousness. It also finds that doctors failed to identify deteriorating vital signs and provide timely intervention. Rivers died in September after being removed from life support. Music stars are signing on for a new version of the Band-Aid charity song, Do They Know It's Christmas? Founder Bob Geldof says One Direction and Coldplay's Chris Martin will participate in the recording to raise money to fight Ebola. The original single was recorded 30 years ago for famine relief. Mark Wahlberg is a man with a double life in the new movie, The Gambler. The cast walked the red carpet at the world premiere in Hollywood. Wahlberg plays an English professor with a gambling habit that spirals out of control. He doesn't gamble for the thrill of it, that's for sure. He's just basically trying to strip himself of everything material in his life. The Gambler opens in theaters next week. And Jennifer Lawrence lit up the red carpet at the London premiere of the newest installment in the Hunger Games series. Mockingjay Part 1 opens in theaters November 21st. That's your Eye on Entertainment. Suzanne Marquez, CBS News, Los Angeles.